All right, guys. One of my favorite Hohem products is my gimbal, the iSteady V2. This has a little camera there on the top, which allows AI tracking without any need for an app. And they've taken this technology and incorporated it in one of their newest products, the Hohem Go. This is a two axis auto tracking holder, which you can use for your phone or your tablet. I'm pretty excited to try it out. It's only $60, so it's very affordable if this is something you guys would like to try. Let's go ahead and unbox this and showcase to you guys how this works. And let's get straight into it. So you have yourself the user manual there right on the top. I'll go through that in a second. You got some instructions just there. Let's take this out. And here you have this very nicely designed Hohem Go. It's actually pretty compact. It's pretty lightweight, but it can hold up to 11 inch tablets as well. So if you are going to maybe use this for recording videos or live streaming, or maybe taking meetings and calls, then you know this is going to be perfect if you are the person to maybe move around a little bit. Let's see what else we have down here. So just one more thing is the USB-C charging cable. Now this is powered by USB-C and it does give you up to 10 hours of battery life, which I think is amazing. Before I dive into the design of this, let's just quickly look at the user manual and showcase to you guys how it works. So it's pretty straightforward. Just gonna get your attention to this bottom right hand side corner here. There's only two gestures, the OK symbol to turn on the smart tracking and showing your full palm to turn off smart tracking. So this is one of the same gestures as my Hohem iSteady V2 gimbal that I was showing earlier. And the best distance of the gesture control is between half a meter to one and a half meters away. And the tracking distance is good to have maybe half a meter up to three meters away from the Go itself. Here's some information about the battery life. So you can fully charge it in up to two hours. When it is less than 10% battery life left, you'll see a red light flash on the front of the Hohem Go. When it's fully charged, the indicator light turns on. And once it is charging, the indicator will slowly flash continuously right on the front of the device. Some of these status indicator lights are listed here as well. So when it's on standby and it's not tracking, it will be blue. When the tracking is on, it will be green. These are the two main status light indicators you will probably use. If it flashes yellow, that means it's on auto rotate mode. And if the light is constantly on red, then it's either fully charged. If it's flashing continuously red, then it is low battery and you should go ahead and start charging it. So very simple. Let's dive into the design a little bit more. So this is the button that actually turns it on, but that actually doubles up as the status indicator light. So when I do turn it on, you can actually see that light up in blue or green, etc. You've got yourself a quarter inch thread there at the bottom. So if you wanted to mount this on a tripod, then you can also do that. You have the USB-C charging port right there at the back. Then you have a little knob here. Once you've placed your phone inside here, you can actually turn this to tighten it so your phone or your tablet is very secure. Here's an example. I'll just take my phone. So you place it in there. You tighten it so the phone doesn't fall off. There we go. Okay, so you simply just hold down the button there at the front. You'll see it now lights up blue. And that means it's on and you're ready to use it. So like I mentioned, there's no app you need. It can work with anything. So if you want to stream maybe on Instagram Live, TikTok Live, you want to do Facebook Live, or you know just have any FaceTime calls with your friends or family. Okay, so now that I have the camera on, this is the standard camera app on my iPhone. I'm going to start the gesture controls by giving the OK symbol. The camera is right there and it's very quick and easy. This will go green once it's ready to start tracking me. So remember to be at least 50 centimeters away. If you do it too close, it might not be able to pick up the gesture, but you saw how quick and easy that was. Now this actually rotates 360 degrees. Not only that, this can actually rotate vertically up to 30 degrees. So I'm gonna start moving around a little bit just to showcase the capabilities of this. It's not really tracking my face. It is focusing on my body. So as I move around, it will follow me as I go up, down, left and right. That is pretty impressive. Now, if I lower myself, you can see it does tilt a little bit, 30 degrees maximum, but 
More than that, it will cover pretty much your entire body, no matter what type of thing you're doing. And it does it from quite a bit of a distance as well. So I'll step back and see how far I go. You can see that is pretty quick and responsive. You know, I really like this gadget. And what I want to do is now test the 360. Does it stop at 360 or does it actually continually keep going round and round? So I'm going to put it there in the middle of this room and see how well that performs. So let me do that now. Okay, I'll actually start the recording on my phone. I'll give it the gesture. There we go. Let's go ahead and start walking around 360. So it started facing the camera towards you guys. It's doing a good job following me around. Now, if I do go pretty fast and I get out of the view, it, the light will go blue and that means it won't be able to continue tracking me. But as soon as I get back into view without any gestures, it will continue the tracking by itself. Now you can see I've gone past 360. This is the second time I'm going around. So this is unlimited 360 as well. So if you are maybe going to go around in circles when you're maybe running a class or a fitness type of yoga type class or anything like that, and you're walking around talking to other people, then you know this is going to be very convenient as well. So for me, you know, I'm quite impressed the way this is working, but let me go ahead and show you guys what happens if I do get out of view very quickly. So I ran past it, the light has gone blue. Without any gestures, I'm gonna come back and this light will turn green again. There we go, it's picked me up. So it kind of carries on from where you left off. But one thing I like is if you are in a live stream or you're running a meeting or any type of call and you don't want it to stop, then the only way to stop it is if you do manually put up the gesture to stop this, which I think is quite convenient. So you don't get any interruptions. So you have to really hold up your palm in front of it, wait for the light to go blue. That's when it's actually stopped. So then you can move away and then maybe dismount your phone or your tablet. So the way this is working, it's really impressive and uh, I can't find any faults with this. All right guys, so I just wanted to also show a comparison that this actually works very well if you put a tablet on it. So I have an iPad Pro here. It supports up to maximum 11 inches. So my iPad Pro is exactly 11 inches and I just wanted to showcase a variety. You know, if you wanted to use this, then this is actually very good to have a little screen on there of this size. So I'll just go ahead and turn the tracking on and it just works as good as it does with the phone as well. It keeps me in view and it's pretty smooth. It's pretty responsive. And I just feel like, you know, this type of AI tracking where you don't have to select your body manually or your face for face tracking or anything like that. It just finds you as a person in the view of the camera and it continues tracking for you. So for me, that is a big win. And then stop. So all in all is pretty simple to be honest guys and I'm quite impressed of the way this is designed. It weighs only 300 grams so it doesn't feel like it's very heavy. It supports your phone, your tablets, whatever your need is to maybe have a bit more of a view when you're walking around the room or you're presenting or you're live streaming, whatever it may be. This is a very nice little companion because at $60 I don't think you can go wrong with this. I've been a fan of Hohen products for quite a long time and you know this is a very nice gadget that I'm just gonna add to that list. If there's anything else you guys want to know about this device, as always, drop a comment down below. If you did like this, then do check out the link in the description to find out more information or to go ahead and maybe purchase this. And make sure to subscribe. I have new gadgets and new videos out all the time and I'm pretty sure you're going to be excited with the ones I have coming out very soon. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.